the million dollar question, how much money per month do you need to live in Rio de Janeiro? Can I survive? Can I live? Can I thrive off of $2,000 a month? I'm going to answer their question now and I have a Microsoft Word document that you can follow along with. So this is what we're gonna go over, right? We're gonna talk about rent, how much money you need for rent, how much money you need for groceries, food, X, Y, Z, and your entertainment slash sugar baby budget. I'm just gonna call it what it is. I don't give a shit what you guys gotta say. I got a sugar baby budget out here. I talk about it on Patreon and you'll be surprised um, the value I'm getting, let's just say that. Okay, all right, so let's get into it. I just had to get that out of the way. I'm keeping it 100 with y'all. I'm retired Air Force, I don't give a <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about it, man. So here's my recommendation. My recommendation is if you want to live in the nice parts of Rio de Janeiro in the South Zone, and you wanna have a nice apartment near the beach, you're gonna have to have a budget of roughly $4,000 a month. It can be done with a lot less, much less, but you're gonna be staying in squalor. You're not gonna be staying in any nice renovated uh, condos, right? Because my spot right now is renovated, um, two bedroom, big 4K TV on the wall, like coffee machine, kitchen, washing machine, Right. You're going to you're going to miss out on a lot of those amenities when you go cheap. OK. Uh, new furniture, but we're going to get into it. OK, so for instance, here we go. OK, I had to pause the video because you guys heard the police speaking of police presence. That's part of the benefits that you're going to get when you stay in uh, uh, Copacabana. OK, so let's talk about it. Two thousand dollars a month for rent. OK. If you want an apartment near the beach where you can walk to the beach, you can see the beach, you can hear the waves crashing on the beach, you're going to have to pay for that. There's not a lot of real estate to go. The supply is very, very limited in Copacabana, beachfront properties, Ipanema, LeBlanc, and so forth. So with a low supply, there's going to be high demand. So you're not going to get a cheap apartment on the beach, right? You have to understand also the number one tourist destination in Brazil is Rio de Janeiro. So if you want to stay in the number one tourist destination in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, right? Probably South America, you're going to have to pay for it. And it's only $2,000 a month. So what are you going to get? You're in a prime location. I'm in a prime location right now. I can walk out. I see beautiful tourists, beautiful people, uh, lots of different people from all over South America right down to my doorstep. So I ain't got to go nowhere. OK, there's a benefit to that. Trust me. Uh, my apartment is renovated. Two bedroom, like I said, this part, this apartment is renovated. It has a modern aesthetic. You guys can't see it now. I'm not going to give a tour of my apartment either. OK, I got two bedrooms. Uh, a nice, a nice one, one bath. I got a desk area here, a nice kitchen, washer and dryers. Okay. If you skip out on that, there's a lot of people who don't have a washer and dryer. So you're going to have to constantly go to, uh, the laundromat, wash your own clothes. I don't want to do that. Okay. Um, new furniture, like I said, new furniture, 4k TV. Uh, you have a police presence here. If you guys don't know, uh, here in Copacabana, Ipanema, and LeBlanc, it's the most safest area of Rio de Janeiro because of the high police presence. You have the you have the the local police and you have the federal police out here. You got two different wings of police that are working to ensure that the tourists are safe. Now there are issues that happen, right? But nobody's getting drugged, nobody's getting robbed and killed like that, like that, when you compare it to other places like Medellin, Colombia. It's totally different. I, I, I get a sense that the police officers here care, okay? Now, to be fair and balanced, there's nowhere near as many tourists coming to Brazil as there is in Colombia, so we have to weigh that out. Also, with the $2,000 a month in rent, give or take, you're gonna get 24-hour security. I have 24-hour security. 24 hour security. If anything happens, there's a doorman, 
there's multiple doormen that are securing the premises. Security is very important. How much do you value your security? Okay. Also, I have it here. Walking distance to high speed internet upscale coffee shops. Right down, as soon as I walk down the street, or sorry, if I go down my elevator, leave my spot, I'm there's very nice high end coffee shops. So if you want to get some work done, if you have, um, you know, you want to get a coffee, you want to get a bite to eat, you want to get that high speed internet, you got some business you got to take care of, get out of the apartment. You have multiple options here, okay? And they're also good networking tools. And people in there, most the people who go to these coffee shops typically live in the area. They're, they're well-to-do business folks. I, I've met a couple of Brazilians here who are doing some big things, just chit-chatting. Oh, they, they eavesdropped on a conversation and wanted to ch chime in. So that's a good networking tool, these, these, these nice coffee shops. Uh, grocery stores. You don't need a car. I walk to the grocery store. I can pick up everything I need, fruits, vegetables, uh, uh, meals ready to eat, all that type of stuff, uh, cereal, co coconut water, you know, get the eyes and ends or whatever the case is. I can walk. I don't need a vehicle. So you got all these things that you can walk to. Uh, obviously, you can walk to the beach. Okay, the beach is just right there. I can walk to the beach. You can hear the waves crashing. You can't beat that. And you got your entertainment clubs and your massage places. Okay. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about. I talk a lot about it on my Patreon. But being walking distance to the action, if you want to get things sticky, if you want to get sticky icky with it, you can just walk. I don't got to. I can walk right down the street. If I want to get me a little massage with a little extra, it's right there and I can walk home. So being, being close to all this stuff, if you want to participate, high speed coffee shops, grocery stores, the gym, right? We're going to talk about that too. And the massage places, entertainment districts, clubs, clubs, okay? Walking distance. So you're going to get all of that by living right here, okay? Uh, per, my personal trainer, I have a personal trainer. He's $17 a month or $17 per session, right? Three sessions per week, roughly 200 bucks. Okay. And he'd be working me out as well. So you get all of that. I can walk to the gym. I can walk to the beach. I can walk to the grocery store. I got nice coffee shops here. Plus here in Copacabana, which is where I'm at. I'm the king of Copa, by the way, you see the hat. Let me get to the big screen hat. You see, you guys see the hat King Copa. Don't try to steal my name. I'm the king. All right. Do you want to visit these exotic locations that I always talk about? Thailand, Philippines, Spain, Italy, Greece, Brazil, which is where I live, Colombia. You need to start having your finances in order. Right. We need to start thinking global instead of local. Right. I have 10 streams of passive income through stocks, bonds, ETFs, mutual funds, crypto, book royalties, and more. I can help you build your passive income streams. We can take a look at your situation and see what's best for you. Check out voyotic.io. This is my new website. I also give travel consultations, how to move and shake in Brazil, how to avoid safety mishaps, where to meet the ladies, where's the best place you should stay, Airbnb versus hotel, where's the best place to withdraw money, right? Tourist places you must go to, boots on the ground information on an economic level. I can provide that information, okay? Voyotic.io. Check out the website, book a consultation today. Copacabana, Copacabana has the most diversity of people out of any place that I can think of in recent memory. And if you don't believe me, you can ask my personal trainer. He lives here. He even said it. He said, bro, ain't, no, ain't nowhere better than Copacabana because Copacabana is a little bit more affordable than Ipanema and LeBlanc. So you're going to have more people here, brown, black and brown, Asians, Japanese. My favorite, the redhead Brazilians are out here. <laughs> Those are my favorite too, by the way. Ooh, okay. So you got diversity like crazy in Copacabana. When you go to Ipanema and LeBlanc, it's mostly white Brazilians. OK, but I like to be in a diversity. So 
and again, like I said, the uh, the supply is very, very limited as far as apartments go. Everybody is trying to come here. Not just Americans. You got French here. You have people from Europe. You got people from Australia. You, okay, Russia. Right? You have a huge, a lot of people trying to, who are sucking up these properties. So it's not going to be cheap. $2,000 a month. Okay? Now, moving along to... Um, $1,000 per month needs to go towards food. If you don't want to cook, if you don't know how to cook, if you don't know how to cook, then you need about $1,000 because they, ha they have grocery stores here. The grocery stores aren't exactly super cheap, right? Rio de Janeiro is the most expensive state in Brazil by a healthy margin. So it's not that's why there's not a lot of expats who come here because it ain't cheap like uh, uh, Colombia. It's beautiful, but it ain't cheap like Colombia. And I like it that way because it keeps some of the riffraff out. It keeps some of you ninjas out. OK, I'm just going to keep it real. So there's a I, I don't mind if it's too cheap. Every swinging D.I.C.K. is going to be here. And I don't want you mix it. OK. So we got to we have we only have the cream of the cream in Brazil, right? Because it's a little bit more expensive. OK, so uh, if you don't if you don't want to cook. So, for instance, I, don't, I, I can cook. I know how to cook, but I don't like to cook. OK, so I go to I can go. I'm going to all of these upscale restaurants, upscale sushi, uh, churrasco, the barbecue spots, the Greek spot. Um, there's a whole bunch of different types of uh, poke bowls, fancy poke bowls, Hawaiian poke. Like, that's what we eating out here. We order iFood. We got Rabi, which is their version of Uber Eats. And I do a couple of grocery store runs in between. That total bill is going to hit you for about $1,000 a month. Now, you can do it on a lot less if you go to the grocery store. You want to cook your food. They have fresh produce. They got fresh beef. They got meat markets. They got fish markets. If you want to do it yourself, meal prep and all that type of stuff, you can dwell on this down significantly. OK, so it's all about what you want to do and how you want to play it. OK, but. If you don't want to cook at all and you just I'm just ordering Uber Eats, Uber Eats, Uber Eats. Plus, I, I got meals, prepared meals from the grocery store that I that I chomp on in between. It's going to cost you. OK, which thousand dollars a month for food is not a lot of money, especially when you're eating good out here in Brazil. I'm eating real good. OK. Now, so we so that's three thousand dollars total. Now, let's talk about the last portion of the budget, which is the sugar budget. Now, I know this is a controversial take, but I don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I do not care. I do not care because I've had a girlfriend before. I've, had, I've done the whole thing and all that type of stuff, but I like the ability to have girls come over and then they, we hang out and then they leave me alone. I've had girls in Brazil. You know what? We don't have to do this. We, you, we, we can be together and all this type of stuff and we can spend time with each other. And then, OK, we do that. And then the next thing you know, they're going through all my videos on YouTube. What do you what does this mean? And what does this mean? Going through all of my videos on Instagram. Is this what you really think about me? I'm not like this. Right. And all this type of stuff. Shut the F up. I don't I don't want to have a girlfriend in Brazil right now because I know though there's a girl that i'm talking to right now she's super super sweet but every time i post a video what does this mean what does that mean <laughs> like come on like leave, i told her leave me to stop asking me these damn questions so i prefer having a sugar baby arrangement where i give you a couple dollars and you leave and you come over here you get folded up and we go out to eat we do this i can take you shopping but then you're gonna leave me the f alone because i don't feel like talking I don't feel like explaining all my YouTube videos. I don't feel like you're doing nothing. Leave me alone. She's starting to she's starting to understand now to leave me alone. OK, so if you want to have a sugar baby situation out here, which I have, I don't give a shit. I'll tell you. I don't care. And you're having a whole rotation of them. OK. Oh, uh, uh, the ro the rotation. Matter of fact, I have it right here. So I did it. 
Let me get to the big screen. So I, we, we, did the, we did the math in, in Patreon. We did the math. I did the math. Okay, this is how much money I spent on the sugar baby budget. This is 5,000, hey, ass, which is 1,000 bucks, and you will be surprised what I got for 1,000. $1,000? I was talking to my brothers in Patreon. It's like, you, all of that for $1,000 a month? I can't say it on YouTube, but... And again, the sugar baby budget, the art of negotiation, my negotiation tactics in Brazil is fire now. Okay, so there was a little, a couple of missteps right there. But a lot of brothers don't know how the market is priced here in Brazil, what, what they want and what they don't want and all that type of stuff. They don't know. Right. So I come up and I tell them straight up. I'm like, look, here's what this is what we're going to do. Right. I need you to do this. I need you to do that. OK, it's going to be this. It's going to be that. I need she's going to be like, I need help with this. I need help with that. I have one of my one of one of my little sugar booze. She said, oh, I need help. She said, I need help because she said she needs to hire a lawyer. I, gotta, I need to hire a lawyer for, for to go to school next year. They, they mess up her credits or some shit like that. I need help. Oh, 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 oh. And I told her, I can't help you because when I asked you. To paint your nails the color that I want, you didn't do it. I'm, I'm petty like that. <laughs> I was like, look, I told you what you needed to do. You need to come to the crib. I will, I will pay for you to get your nails done. You guys know I like a foot, I got a foot fetish. I like pretty nails, pretty feet. All you, I'd be giving them easy jobs. Just come over and paint your nails the color that I want. I like powder pink, and I like uh. Y'all don't really care. But anyway, I'm just telling you, that's how it goes. You follow the rules. Hey, you come through. You paint your nails this color, this color. OK, I don't ask for much. We're going to go out to eat or we're going to order food in. We're going to watch some horror movies. Go to the beach. We go shopping. We go to Zara. Easy. Here's a couple dollars. It's not that much. And everybody is happy. OK, now. You can you for you can do it for a lot less. OK, a lot less. You can sit here and you can try to talk to them and all this type of stuff. But my question to you would be this. I would say this. Let me see the chicks that you run a game on here in Brazil. I want you to see it because I talking to a lot of guys out here outside of the people in my camp and you brothers are down bad. OK. So, yeah, I got a little I have a little budget, a little budget. And trust me, a thousand dollars a month for entertainment. That's easy. It's light work. OK, but again, it could be done on a lot less. It could be done on a lot less. OK. So wrapping this video up, I believe you should have four thousand dollars a month if you want to live like a king, quote unquote, King Copa, MT, you want to live like a king. That's how much it's going to be. You could do it on a lot less, but there's going to be some, uh, some things that you're going to have to part with. OK, if you like this video, like, comment, share. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.